Hi guys, I hope you can hear me okay. I don't see anybody in here yet, so I'm going to wait. We'll see uh, who's going to end up coming in. Hope everybody's in a good weekend. I am. Not too bad. So I'm just waiting for people to come in. I know generally it takes a little bit, so I'm going to give about 10 minutes. It's one out of 10.
Let's see chat here. Hey mom, how are you doing today? I thought I'd do a little bit of a different format today. I'm um, going to have another person I texted come in. I'll have various people um, show up, I'm sure. I don't know. But uh, testing out some new things. I have a straight now. That way, I have different backgrounds. I want to get better lighting. This is just uh, the ability to have. I just wanted to try it out with this lighting at first and see where I need to go from here. But uh, let's see how this works. Uh, I am up tonight. I may just get some DoorDash or something. But I wanted to get on. I wasn't on last week. Hey Amanda. Hey moment. Yeah, um, something brand new. I just got it put up. Got my office situated. I'm working from home now, so I made things a little bit more comfortable. Uh, I was just saying that uh, this lighting and stuff. This is gonna. This lighting has changed. Temporary thing. I want to see how the green screen worked out for me. Uh, so far, it's working really good. I mean, um, I'm not having any complaints so far. The lighting just needs better. And uh, I'm just going to go from here. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do a lot more uh, things like this. That way, I'm not just always cooking all the time. I want to cook and everything. But uh, Ashley is, <coughs> um, she's working now. Uh, she has a job at Amazon. I work in one of their warehouses, and she's going to be working the weekend. Generally, and I work throughout the week. So uh, on things like the weekends and stuff, I'm going to be home. I'm still going to have, you know, cooking streams, but it's not going to be as often as it was. And um, I'm going to, uh, you know, do some new, new things. And uh, like today, I wanted to do a review of something. Um, show off something that I just got that I'm going to be uh, installing tomorrow uh, because I realized I was going to need an extra part, which um, I should have ordered beforehand, but I didn't know if it was going to come with it or not. But anyway, how are you doing, Amanda? Nice to see you in the in my live stream. I was thinking of having like a nice scene behind me, but because I'm doing like review type thing, um, on uh, like a do it yourself type thing, uh, I figured this would be a good background. Oh yeah, um, yeah, she's actually at work right now. She started at uh, six thirty today. Uh, she's gonna be working until late. Uh, last night she didn't get off to two in the morning. Uh, it's gonna be in like weekend uh, evening or nights. 
and uh, she's staying up with her family up uh, about 25 miles away from here uh, because they're like five minutes away from her. So she's going to work a few days up there while I'm uh, here and it's just going to kind of work out. She's going to be home through the week, their weekends and stuff. So. Um, yeah, I heard about that. I'm, I'm sorry that happened. I mean, you guys are okay though, right? I haven't really watched the news this morning or anything. I've just kind of been, uh, chilling. I did a little bit of painting, um, kind of, just kind of make the house look better and things like that right now. So, but, um, Anyway, so I have this DIY thing, you know. Um, that's good. Um, this DIY sign is because, you know, I've been doing a lot of improvements to the house, trying to get things um, to, so that they're uh, more organized, more clean, they look better. Uh, we want our house to, you know, we, we live in a home, but we want it to look like a home. Like, you walk in and it's like a house. And that's what I'm slowly working towards. It ends up taking a lot of money and a lot of time to be able to do all of it. So, uh, when increments at a time, um, I just, this morning, uh, painted a bedroom ceiling. And it it needed it, because I'm going to get it, probably another coat, uh, and it's kills. So, yeah, that's how uh, some of the things are. It's not like... It's not like falling apart or anything. It's not like floor come through or anything. It's not that bad. It's just it needs a lot of improvement. It needs a lot of things done. Um, and one of the things that uh, we've noticed over the past couple of years that we've lived here is that our AC would freeze up. And uh, it's an older uh, furnace and AC unit. And um, it would freak up, and the drain pan doesn't have the uh, actual drain to it that goes outside. It just goes in there, and then I guess it evaporates, whatever, whatever. I don't know what they were thinking. I need to install a drain pan. But um, one of the reasons um, that uh, we weren't, that it was uh, freezing up is because um, they're, okay, and it, Furnace and AC. This uh, this is what's called a um, a forced air furnace system. And whenever you have a blower that blows over like uh, your furnace coils or your, your heat, and then or like an AC coil. Um, basically, if you have an outside unit and an inside unit, it's going to be basically forced air. Um, if it's like electric or uh, gas, generally they're forced air units. And when you have a field over a coil, okay, and it's just like it is in your car, like a radiator, um, the refrigerant comes through, uh, circulates through the coil, the uh, the air blows over it, it's cold, goes through your ducting, cools your house. Well, when you don't change your filters over time, dirt and dust and nasty stuff gets in that coil, clogs, clogs it really, really bad. So that when the air is kind of forced through the coils, it can't really go through the way it needs to go through. And it sits there and gets cold and cold and cold and cold and cold and ends up freezing up. Well, I was doing some research online and I ran across some um, that you can buy a foaming cleaner. And I've heard these things um, work decent. You know, they're supposed to really clean the uh, the coil. I've had my doubts. Um, I don't know um, whether it will work or not. You know, just spraying something on and kind of letting it sit and, you know, do its thing. Because it says you don't have to rinse it off. You don't have to you know, scrub anything. You don't have to do anything. Just spray it on, let it foam up, bam, you're good. Well... I found this stuff at Walmart. This is Frost King foam coil cleaner. And um, this 
Uh, they say you can use it on car radiators, you can use it on uh, window units, uh, outside units, everything like that. And the stuff is amazing. 24 cents at Walmart for this can. About two cans. I should have bought 10, but um, <laughs> the two cans, I used, I used all of it because I just wanted to make sure everything was clean. And I could literally see the dirt off, running down the coil. So now my fee is going to work a lot better. I'm going to save a lot more money. And uh, because it's not going to end up freezing up, it's not going to be running for no reason, so on and so forth. It's going to cool the house, uh, the house a lot easier. And yeah. so another thing, um, this live stream is going to be long. I just wanted to get on chit chat a little bit, uh, a few things and uh, kind of be done. Like I said, I wanted the green screen was working out. Um, now, uh, another thing that I wanted to, uh, if you guys have been on my stream or know me, uh, you know, know what I've been doing to the house. I've been trying to um, doing what's called um, a smart house. Okay? I'm trying to uh, turn everything over into um, a smart design. Okay. Uh, LED bulbs that connect to Wi-Fi, that way you can turn them on and off. Switches, that way you can turn them on and off with something like this, your cell phone, okay? Um, with a tablet, with any with your voice, if you have an assistant, okay? Um, doing it this way, and it's actually working out really, really, really good. Um, I didn't think that, well, I, I, didn't, I wanted to try it out. Um, about, oh wow, uh, about six months ago, I bought her smart bulbs, about five months ago, uh, four, five, six months like that, I started buying, you know, some smart bulbs, just to try it out, see how it worked. Um, we ended up getting a Google Mini, uh, which, um, is really, really cool thing. Um. So we now we have two of them. Uh, we have one in the living room and our bedroom. They can, just by us telling it, I'm going to go in more in depth in another video, kind of how I've set up my smart home, smart home, the individual controls and stuff like that. And I'm going to do an actual video on that. But um, I've been slowly integrating things into this kind of way because there's so many ways that you can save so much money under this kind of setup. Not only are they LED bulbs, they're much brighter. Um, you can dim them just by your voice. Uh, you can turn them on and off. You can be in a totally separate room. You don't want to get up. You don't want to go in there. Just, you know, it's, you know, say, blah, blah, you know, turn off the whatever light, and it will. It makes it really easy. Uh, you can set things up on schedules. You can set it up so that when you leave the house, it automatically turns everything off. When you come home, it automatically turns everything off. Well, so, um, one thing I've wanted to do for a while is air conditioning a furnace. And, and I, I'm kind of putting this, both, both of these things into this video because they both kind of uh, relate to the AC. Um, that is the most expensive um, appliance in anybody's home. AC furnace unit um, and it can get very very expensive no I'm not using a ring I'm using a uh, um, a redneck rigged light I'll say that <laughs> um, but uh, Oh, thanks. No, this is a, um, a sling lamp, drop lamp, that we had. And I didn't have throw away because it still works. We didn't, we're going to use it or anything. Um, 
and I've got what I did is I'm doing some decorative ceiling lamp that hung on stuff. I took aluminum foil around inside so it reflected the light, and it's got uh, like five little miniature bulbs. Um, so it works good. It's really it puts off a lot of heat though. Um, but anyway, back to my thing. Um, so I'm wanting to reduce our electricity bill, and uh, first step was cleaning that coil. That was the first thing I needed to do. It's really, really easy. Anybody can clean their coil with this stuff. Um, all you got to do is open up your furnace. You know, if you have a screwdriver and a little driver, um, you can end up getting into where the A coil is. You know, you got to top of the panel. You're not going to break anything. You're not going to hurt anything by taking the paper off. And uh, just spray the stuff down. Uh, wait for it to dry, uh, dry off. Spray it down again. Put everything back together, and boom, you're done. But uh, your furnaces are very expensive. Air conditioning units are very expensive. And that's why I'm wanting to um, keep this running as long as possible. I want it to be efficient, though. This is a very old uh, unit. Uh, it's been here original with the house. The house was built in 82, or the home was in 82. Uh, so it's been around a while. It was really, really dirty, um, and it's very rather inefficient. Um, it doesn't even have a circuit board. That's how old this is. Most modern units have circuit boards in to to monitor this and that. Um, but uh, one way that I can upgrade this unit is by getting a different thermostat. Okay. And thermostat that's on there now, it works. Doesn't have a problem working, but it's very inefficient because it sits at one temperature and tries to maintain that one temperature and it's going on as long as it can until it does. Well, uh, in comes in my, uh, my whole smart home, um, uh, integration. I went to the store and bought a new thermostat. Now you can buy a thermostat, you can buy a manual thermostat for 20, 25, 30 bucks. Well, um, I've been looking online and I've seen a lot of um, like great uh, thermostat, you know, Wi Fi thermostat from China and all this other stuff. I just I don't want to get some non-name brand. I don't want to um, get something that you know, wasn't going to, I wasn't going to be guaranteed, you know, it's going to work with uh, everything I have set up. Um, but I found that, like, okay, I was going to tell you, Walmart's cheap on a lot of things, okay? That's where I bought all the bulbs. They've been the cheaper brand. I have bought one. Like, they have uh, GE. They have... Um, several different brands. The brand that I've been buying, um, I can get a three pack of white colored Wi Fi uh, smart bulbs for 20 bucks. These things are guaranteed to last for almost forever. And um, I mean, the light that's in my room right now, my office, is a smart bulb. It's one of the cheap ones, and it's really, really convenient to have. Um, uh, light, the switch is over on a sidewall and other stuff. So it just, it's, it's inconvenient to try to come here and turn it on, you know, and if you forget, you know, you walk out of the room, you forget. It's inconvenient that way. So I uh, upgraded to a smart bulb, threw it in, connect it to the Wi-Fi, bam. Um, all I got to do is say, hey, Google, turn off the office light. And it turns the light off. Hey, Google, turn the office light on. Sure. And I can do that with any room in my house. Um, <laughs> that's why I'm going to be doing a video and I'm going to add everything up to how much everything was. I'm going to tell you, 
everything that I've bought, including this, this was the most expensive thing. I have um, two smart switches. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like seven or eight smart bulbs. Um, and I've spent Oh, including my home minis, about 200 bucks. Um, maybe a hair more. And everything works great. You don't have to buy um, all of the same brand. Um, I do have one on light, but all of my other, but that became a, uh, a little starter up kit that I bought with a mini. It was on sale for cheap, 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 cheap. Um, brand new at Walmart, but it was the clearance for some reason. Many was. And it came with a smart bulb. It was a GE um, C, um, C light, and it was. I mean, it's the name brand bulb. It works great. Um, but with my experience, you don't have to buy the more expensive stuff. Everything works. Everything integrates. As long as it has the little. Okay, I'm going to show you this. As long as it has that on it, the box, um, or you know, integrates with Alexa uh, or whatever you're using, uh, don't go Apple HomeKit stuff. It's expensive. That only works with a uh, few brands, and it's going to work out for you. I'm going to tell you that. But we went out and we bought or bought a smart thermostat. Okay. This thing is going to save us so much money. Um, like I said, the thermostat that we have out there, it's about a $25 thermostat at Walmart. Uh, you hook it to the wall, um, and you're able to turn it on and turn it off, set the temperature. That's it. That's all you can do. This thing was $75. Bucks. Okay. It's, it was quite cheap. Um, but I know it's going to integrate with my system. Um, I don't want to do Alexa. I don't want to do Amazon because I'm going to do this. Okay. The integration with your phone, integration with um, everything that you generally do isn't going to be there. Um, your Google Assistant is part of your phone it's the, you know if you have an android phone if um the home minis everything is all integrated together this way amazon alexa um it's a third party compared to like a, an android phone now if you have an uh an iphone great i mean yeah i recommend that but if you have an android phone and most of the you know your household has android phones um if you like android i would go with the google Assistant. Uh, it's very, you know, uh, widespread with the compatibility. It's uh, able to be hooked up really, really, really easily. You don't have to get the third party apps and it's all set up right on your phone. I mean, it's literally a tap, a tap, a tap, and it's done. Um, anyway, uh, the smart thermostat yesterday and um these things are really, really uh handy to have um they're really nice because you can set schedules for if you're out of the house uh, if you're going to be away from the from or two you can automatically set it so that um it'll turn down like if it's cold it'll turn down your if it's cold outside have your head up to whatever temperature where you're comfortable when you leave um, you could set it up so that when your GPS on your phone leaves your house area, you know, live, uh, leaves your living area, it will automatically adjust the thermostat because it knows you're gone, and it'll set it down so that you're not spending so much money trying to warm the house. Just the same as you know, uh, in the summer, if you're leaving, 
going to be done for a couple of hours or a day or two or whatever. Um, you know, you're going to be at work away from the house. It will uh, set your AC higher so that it's not trying to cool your house so much. And then, um, like, if you have your schedule set in your calendar, it will automatically tell you you're getting off at this time, you know, reprogram an hour before. That way it will start cooling your house before you get there. These things are so, so useful. And you're not spending that money trying to heat or cool your house when you're not home. Um, you can readjust it if you're in your home and um, you uh, you want it warm or cold or um, you want it, you know, you don't have to get up to be able to do it. Uh, it has so many features to it. Like um, you can add sensors for each individual room. And uh, there's ways where you can get individual um, ventilators so that um, when a, a room starts getting way out of temperature range, uh, it'll close the vents to the other room and just that room. So useful. I've seen setups like that, and it's not really that expensive to do. So this is the smart thermostat. It is a momentum. Um, I've never, I haven't used this brand. But I've heard, I've read the reviews on this, and they're actually really, really good. Um, now, it's just a black box. This is just an outer thing to it. I have opened this just to make sure everything was in there. But, um, you know, this is a really small box. This my little start guide. Okay, so I've got some screws, I've got some wire labels, some guides, installation guides, and warranty. That's pretty much it for that. And then you have the piece de resistance. Um, they can't. If they're not set up on your phone, I'll go through it here in just a minute and I'll show you. Um, let me show you this thermostat and then I'll go through on my Google Home and I'll show you how it's used. It's really, really easy. Um, you know, foam. But this is the thermostat. Uh, really easy wiring, plate, back of thermostat. And this is going to be my thermostat. Um, it's really easy to set up, set up Wi-Fi uh, with the app through my phone. I was reading about it, all the installation and everything like that. And uh, it's really, really easy and convenient to set up. Um, this even has a little level. That way, when I'm mounting it, I can make sure I've got it right. It's pretty cool there. So yeah, um, this is what will be on my wall. This is what's going to connect to my Wi-Fi. This is where I'm going to adjust my temperatures. It's touch screen. Um, and I mean, it's just now I can't hook up yet because these things, um, they do have a battery. So what I have to do is I had to buy a uh, what's called a C adapter, a C wire. And all it is, is it's an extra power source that actually plugs into the wall. And I didn't realize it didn't come with it. It's like, I mean, it's a 24 volt uh, power supply. Those aren't, you know, used very common in anything. So I couldn't find anything that um, had 24 volt that I could use instead. So I bought one, 12 bucks. It'll be here tomorrow. Uh, Amazon two-day shipping. It's amazing stuff. You know, when uh, your fiance works at Amazon and everything like that, still can't get things, you know, uh, quicker. It doesn't make a difference. It's still got to be shipped. But um, the only thing about the Google Assistant, because it is integrated with your phone, if you do have a home mini 
or something voice control that you're trying to talk to, it will activate it on your phone as well. Um, so not only do I have the Google Assistant on our phones, this is how integrated our house is with um, the Google Assistant. We have our phones, we have our home mini, and our uh, living room TV is an Android TV. Um, so all I have to do is push a button on my remote, I can control anything in the house. Um, my bedroom TV, I have a Chromecast hooked up to it, I can control the volume, turn it on and off. Can't change the channels because I have a satellite box hooked up to it and that's not compatible with it. But um, it's it's really easy. Uh, I can still tell it to turn it off, I can still tell it to turn the volume up, things like that, and it still does it. Now, Um, you're asking if anybody can, uh, work with your, you know, adjust your things if they have Google. Yes, no. You have to invite them to your home. Now, when you get, uh, go to set these things up for your home, uh, there's an app called Google Home, or it's just Home. And, uh, let me show you. Okay, now I have... All of my home control stuff in one folder on my phone uh, makes things really easy um, uh, it's my my where and my home stuff all in one spot but, um, the Google home app I don't know how well you can see that on my camera but it's right there and you open it up okay and it loads Okay. Oh, leading this off. There it goes. Okay, that's the Google Home app. Okay. Um, now, if you want to add somebody, there's a little thing up at the top that says invite home member, and you can type in their email address. And it'll invite the person. It can be anywhere in the world. I could, you know, send you an invitation to my home, and you would be able to control my lights. You'd be able to control my TV. Um, you know, turn it on and off, things like that. Um, but, you know, it's only people, you'll get an email and, you know, an email, the link in there, and I invite you to download the home app, things like that. And, uh, well, um, yeah, I mean, but, okay, this is really, really, sorry, my green screen, the background that's why I don't know why it's putting through his green. Okay. So um, this is my home. This is my automation app for my home. Uh, I have this on my iPad. Uh, we each have it on our phones. Um, you can see we have labeled. Sorry, I'm getting used to the whole one side of this and one side of that thing. Okay. So you see here that that's Andrew's room. That's his light. His light is on a switch. Okay. The bedroom has a light, a TV, which is the Chromecast, and a speaker, which is the home. Uh, I have my hallway lights on it. It shows that I have two lights. Okay. My kitchen light. And because um, my kitchen and my living room... Um, because they are in like I, we use our kitchen light a lot more okay so when we walk in the house and we say if my living room speaker was in this group it would turn on living room lights but because it's in this group it'll turn on kitchen lights so that's why it's in my kitchen group it's confusing but um this this shows you all the smart stuff that i have in my house and soon I'll have this thing on there. Um, and that would be a totally new thing. But, uh, yeah, I can cast music on any of the speakers. Um, I can uh, very easily cast uh, any video. All I have to do is tell Google to have a whatever video on YouTube or Netflix or um, anything like that. It doesn't integrate with Amazon Prime. But uh, anything that I want to really show, it'll pop up.
Um, it integrates with quite a few things. Uh, Pandora, Spotify, Heart Radio, if you like music. And you can play it on any speaker, anywhere in your house. Uh, some of the lights even, the, they aren't just the white lights. Some of them, like this one, or that one, might be this one, I'm not sure. Um, some of them actually are color changing as well. Um, I know Walmart has a two pack color changing um, and white uh, for two bucks. A three pack of white for 20 bucks. So it just all depends on which way you want to go. If you want uh, certain colors at certain times in certain rooms, get the color changing light. Um, let me see. Oh, yeah, my office in my bedroom. I can change the color to anything. So red. You can't really tell that color difference, but red, um, blue. You can kind of see it off my head here, my bald. Okay, uh, green, which is going to kind of blend into my my green screen. Or white. I can turn on, off. There it goes. You have different shades of white. So um, I've found that Google, uh, because it integrates with everything you already have, um, it's just the easiest to be able to do it. So, um, and like I said, uh, it's, it, it's really cheap. You can buy the cheap stuff, LED lights, um, they're, they're going to last forever. Okay. Uh, they have like a 20 year, 30 year span generally, uh, depending on the light that you get. So, I mean, you're talking, you know, you pay 20 bucks for three bulbs. That's three bulbs. You're not going to have to buy for 20 years and you're going to have this functionality. So, um, so yeah, it, it saves you a lot of money because you can set up scenes. When I come inside, I tell Google, hey, you know, I'm home. And it says, hey, Nathan, um, or welcome home, Nathan. And uh, it turns this light or that light on. It'll set my thermostat. Um, it'll tell where I'm at. And if I'm getting close to home, it'll readjust my thermostat so that it'll be comfortable when I get home. And, I mean, there's dozens and dozens, if not hundreds of different things that you can do with the interaction with your house. Um, you can get the, uh, the doorbells. Um, and you can actually see on your phone and uh, interact with your house according to, uh, you know, you can get locks and doorbells and stuff so that, you know, if somebody's, you know, somebody's coming over or somebody needs to go grab this or that, you can see that they're there, unlock the door for them, let them in, then after they leave, lock the door back. Um, I mean, it's really, really convenient. There's smart plugs where, uh, um, once, like if you pre-make your coffee in the morning or you want coffee after you get home from work, uh, all you have to do is, you know, set a smart plug, uh, have a coffee pot that literally has a switch, you know, really, really cheap coffee pot, uh, put it in the on position, have the switch off, set it so that, uh, it can tell when you're getting off work. And when you're maybe 15 minutes out from home, it'll start, it'll the switch on, turn your coffee pot on, and bam, you got your coffee when you get home. Uh, I mean, there's washing machines that are connected to uh, Wi-Fi. That way you can start your uh, wash load or dry load. Um, there's dishwashers. There's so much integration with home. And... It, in the long run, it saves you so much money. Your house really does come alive. Yeah. So, yeah, I wanted to uh, show off those couple things. Um, kind of uh, go a little bit with what I'm doing with my smart home. And uh, just kind of, like I said, you know, make sure this was working okay. And see how everybody's doing. But I'm going to... Uh, 
try to order me some food. I don't cook tonight. I don't even know if I'm hungry. Uh, Ashley will be home tomorrow. Cooks tomorrow on a live. I don't know. But like that, I'm just trying to basically get on, say hi, you know, kind of show uh, these few things. Um, this stuff that I showed off in the beginning, um, like I said, a quarter can at Walmart. And this should be done about every year, every two years. Uh, that's what it gets all the gunk and stuff off of your quilt that is circulating around your house. It gets the stuff out that uh, the filter should block. It doesn't. Or if you know you're living in a place where you know, other people have lived and you don't know if to change the filter, you don't even know if they have a filter in there. And that's what I think you know was part of the issue um, and why it was so dirty because. I think there was never ever real filter in there. So um, that's a good way. I'm going to do it in different uh, steps, uh, you know, a month or two from now, but, you know, clean it again. And just do what I can to keep it as clean as possible. That way it keeps the power bill down. Uh, we actually, uh, <laughs> um, we didn't know. We had uh, some of what of a uh, deposit returned to us on our electric bill. We didn't know it. We paid the bill and, uh, now we have a negative balance, which is like weird. We had to call them and try to figure out what was going on, and they're like, "Oh yeah, it was returned to you," and and now blah 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 blah. Now they're giving uh, credits to people, and so <laughs> yeah, things are going okay. I'm working from home now, and um, it's kind of um, kind of hanging out. So like I said. It's going to be a long video. I'm going to get going. I appreciate you guys coming in, those who have. Um, oh, man, thanks for coming by. Missed you in my streams, man. Uh, text me often. Um, you know, you are right down, right down the road from us, basically. So uh, definitely next time uh, you come up in this area, let me know. I'm working from home now. I'm always here. Uh, if I'm not here, I'm at the store or ran to the office or something so uh, mom you know how to get a hold of me uh, Amanda glad you're okay take care um, and uh, you know, let us know how things are going so um, yes. stay safe out there I may do a video soon about this whole uh, COVID-19 thing because it's really, really, really aggravating. And there's a lot of things out there that people should know that they don't know. And they, they're way over exaggerating so much. And it's really, really getting to me. So I may do a, uh, a fact video about this COVID-19 thing and really explain a lot of uh, what's going on with it rather than uh, a lot of the myths and uh, thoughts. Like, if you don't have it, don't wear a mask. It doesn't do anything for you. Um, we were in Walmart the other day and I don't wear a mask. I don't have it. Can't transmit. It. All it does is stop you from breathing on people and expelling the virus onto things because it's a respiratory virus so uh um it doesn't it doesn't stop you from getting it if somebody coughs on you that has it and you're wearing a mask it doesn't matter it's going to go around that mask so uh yeah we were in walmart the other day and this old lady was wearing a mask and i wasn't wearing a mask and we went down the aisle and she was like huddled to the side and um, I went by her and she's like, and like ran around the corner, like really? I mean, come on, I don't have the virus. I wouldn't, you know, I'm not wearing a mask. Obviously, I don't have the virus. Come on. Um, but oh, and this whole, you know, you're not gonna show symptoms and you're. I'm gonna make a video. It's gonna come up in the next, within the next few days, and there's gonna be a lot of facts about this stuff. And I'm gonna show my proof. I'm gonna show. Show everything and you guys just how unscared you have to be. 
scared of the flu. You don't need to be scared of that thing. But anyway, guys, I appreciate you. You take care. Love you all. You have a good night.